maybe we can just uh, kind of reiterate some of the uh, decisions that we made. Uh, very good suggestion offered by Martha to develop a response to the consultant report. Uh, I don't know, has everybody seen the consultant report? We should probably post that on, uh, can you post it on the VCT website? Yeah, let's do that so everybody can read the full report. We'll also post Pam's uh, excellent summary. But I thought uh, really good job in kind of summarizing the main points and great suggestion that we come back and say, you know, we're already doing some of these things. Here's what we're doing, uh, that we fully develop uh, some of the pricing models, uh, Clark, for all the different softwares there to show what what could be a price differential uh, via VCT as opposed to as an individual institution. One of my thoughts is that we follow up this meeting with the survey. Uh, thank you for being here, but not everybody is here. There is a lot of in, there are a lot of institutions not represented. So I think we would create a survey maybe that captures much of what we've talked about today, saying, and it could be an informational item if nothing else. He, here are the things uh, VCT and Starlink are currently doing. Here are some things that we think we could do in the future, and then have some open-ended questions as to uh, feedback and suggestions, but at least to keep this conversation going. Uh, what else did we talk about? We talked about uh, working with Jacob Ferrari at TAC to get on their agenda, uh, to talk to Cynthia Farrell, who, as you know, runs the Texas Success Center, and see if we can't link that uh, up more uh, closely with Starlink and with VCT to see how uh, we can collaborate in this movement toward guided pathways. Um, Another great suggestion from Martha was that maybe we get on the agenda of the summer meeting of the presidents. Of course, we can't wait till then to, to take action, but at least have uh, a, an extended face-to-face -face conversation with them at that point as to what they see going forward for the next legislative session in terms of funding. Other thoughts? I think we pretty much made it through the agenda, so I'm going to just open this up to comments from y'all. Pam, did, did you want to add something? No, I just have some ideas to add to the okay. question there. Um, no, I just was listening to, again, what both Clark and Rick were saying about all the good work that is happening, but one of the problems is people don't know we're doing it. And either we've got the wrong emails, we've got the wrong people, we've got the wrong message, we aren't really promoting it. So I, I, I just would like to see if there's any way we could develop some kind of outreach plan that lets the institutions know what's going on. I think it's real important that Starlink and um, VCT expand, maybe do better work in collaborating, but there's an awful lot of good work happening right now that, that the word is, you know, it's just, it shouldn't be the best kept secret around, and yet it is. So if there is any way, if there was any additional funding that we could use to develop an outreach plan um, and look at the message that we're sending, I think you mentioned, or somebody mentioned, we don't have a, we need to improve our message and our communications. So maybe somebody who's could walk in and say, well, this is great stuff, but no wonder it's not getting out. You aren't messaging it right. Um, I know Rick works really hard in trying to get the word out with Starlink, but with such a small staff, they're running around doing, you know, trying to get the product developed, but the other piece of that always has to be the marketing, the membership services. So if there's any way that we could, if there's any funds available to just maybe do a better communication um, strategy to improve what we're doing, and that would, um, you know, including all the things you said about talking with TACC and the presidents, but also um, developing a more effective message for the current users and make sure they know about it. I think we're all, I mean, I'm kind of sitting there a little bit 
guilty going, I'm so involved with all of this, but who is really getting all the emails from VCT? You know, and, and I think I heard you say something. Boy, this is good stuff. Who's really using it internally? So I, I, we're doing such good work. I think that the, the one of the biggest missing pieces is that connection between what's happening and who we're doing it for. Um, just to add on to that, I guess, um, I'm happy to work something out between myself and Rick. I'll even come to Dallas, whatever. I like to come up there every now and then. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, maybe work on a marketing plan for the two together and then see what we can do, you know, to expand our, our sphere of influence, really. So. Do y'all present at, uh, I know there's, you know, obviously TCCTA is, is the biggest venue, but there's also uh, the community college instructional administrators and TACTI and TACE and all those. Do you present at those conferences? That might be something we want to consider as well, contacting the current leadership of those various organizations to uh, either get in their newsletters or get at their conferences. Other thoughts? Yes, Joyce. Well, the, we're the ones who actually. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. We're the ones who actually communicate directly with the faculty. I do a a newsletter every week, and Starlink is always mentioned. And when you have new programs coming up, I'll identify them. Uh, we give professional development points for people who watch your webinars. But I think the directors of professional development are a key group. And also uh, POD would be a, a, a good group to connect with, the Professional and Organizational Development Network. Yes, and I know for us at ACC, that leadership changed just this past year. So I think it probably is a good time to refresh those uh, contact lists to make sure we do have the proper contacts. Other thoughts, suggestions? The benefit to us is a smaller college, I guess we're medium sized now, but all of the products that we get to try out initially at a reduced rate and that's, you know, we would have never gotten into distance ed without VCT. You know, another topic that came up at our lunch conversation, there's an organization called Learn out of North Carolina that specializes in uh, creating educational technology inventories. They did one for the University of North Carolina system. And I'm gonna talk to Jacob to see if he thinks that might be something useful for the Texas community colleges. It's kind of what you've been doing, uh, Clark, in terms of identifying these different captioning softwares and things like that. Uh, they're more specifically instructional softwares. Uh, but who can keep track of all of these these days? So uh, just to have some sort of inventory of what's available and what's currently being used at what institution so that we can make contact. Oh, we find that you're using Newton. Well, what have you found? Uh, is it effective, et cetera, et cetera. Other thoughts? The question is, uh, is there a timeline for the response? Uh, I think we need to get on that, uh, at least start drafting it. Um, so I would say within the next month, we probably need to come up with at least an outline or a rough draft. And I'm sure it'll go through several iterations, but to share the drafts broadly so that people, we can get many eyes on it uh, to see what might be missing and what might be more effective. But even the information today, I think, has provided us the basis for a, an initial draft. 
Well, thank you all very much for taking time out of your busy schedules to come join us in Austin to help us uh, think about this as we advance it down the road. Uh, I hope everybody has signed in and you've given us your email addresses so we can keep engaged with you and share these drafts as we go forward. Clark, did you want to add something? I just I just wanted to add real quickly that we have been recording this, so we're going to make the recordings available. They'll probably be, I'll probably have them captioned and ready to go um, early next week. Okay. Because um, he's got to do some editing and things like that sure. first. But um, so these will be available, and I'm also sending them to all of the, the constituents that couldn't be here. Okay. Um, so if we do come up with a few questions as far as a survey or something, we can send it along with the video to those uh, institutions and see if they want to add anything to the conversation that we've been having. So, thanks. Thank you so much. And Clark, thank you for organizing our lunch for us today. And uh, any, any last words? If not, uh, letting you out a little bit earlier so that you won't have to fight Austin traffic. <laughs> if that's possible. <laughs> so anyway, thanks again for being here, and uh, we'll keep the conversation going. Safe travels.